Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at uh, the break statement and the continue statement. Uh, now this video isn't going to be long because those two already mentioned uh, break statement and continue statement is really simple as well. Now uh, in order to explain those two statements let me quickly write a for loop say uh, for i uh, var i equals uh, I don't know 1 i is less than 10 and i plus uh, plus the code we want to do is document dot write the same one uh, number plus i plus the br tag oops uh, br no nope, br there we go now normally what this does is outputs number one to nine okay now let's write uh, a quick if statement inside okay now before we do that document thing we are going to write a quick if, if statement say if i is equals to three it doesn't have to be triple equal it just could be a double equal we are going to break and there we go let's see what happens actually let's change this to six something now uh, initially with our for loop the uh, pro not program the statement executed and wrote number one to number nine and let's refresh now and now it's going to output only from number one to five that is because we have this if statement saying that if i is equal to six now i is that value or the variable that's going to get incremented each time so when i reaches six or is equal to six it's going to break now what break does is it's going to jump out of the loop completely okay so it breaks the statement it stops it's not it uh it forcefully puts it to a halt so even though the conditions say that uh, i is equal to one and i if as long as i is less than 10 it's it, you can output this document dot right uh, number thing because of this break it's going to come to a halt at number five now that is the if statement now let's look at continue statement let's keep all the code the same but then instead of break write continue because that's basically all you have to do and let's save our work and refresh now if you can see the difference there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. There's no number six. And when we used our if statement, our condition was i equals six. Now, could you can you guess what the continue statement does? What the continue statement does is basically when that condition, in this case i equals six, is true, it's going to uh, jump to the next loop. It's going to jump over one loop so what it does is when i equals six it's not going to execute the code and instead it's going to go to the next loop which in this case is when i equals seven so break completely stops and jumps out of the loop while the continue uh, stops the the execution of the code once and jumps over to the next loop so that was uh that's the break statement and the continue statement so that's it really simple uh thanks for watching and i'll see you later